I love myself. Peace, family. I'm Jory, the Christ. Welcome. I love myself. That's the message that I am promoting from now on, and I'm standing with carbonation. I'm no longer going to be a cancer cell on this planet, and I'm going to do my best to be true to, my, to myself and love myself and take care of this holy guacamole temple. And I'm only going to put guacamole in it from now on. I'm not putting dead animal carcass because that stuff kills you and it's animal abuse. Killing all these pigs. Pigs are just like dogs. Triple fourth, my man. So I'm, I'm representing and supporting carbonation. And I, I don't want to say that I'm representing because I'm probably going to do some crazy shit on this channel. But I'm always going to be true to myself and I'm not going to censor anything. And I'm going to do my best to have morals and principles and hold myself to a high standard and take care of this body. Oh, I love my body. Oh, this avatar that I'm in. Triple fourth. That's my boy. Aoli. A-A-L-I. Holt 89. Welcome. This video is about the Wizard of Oz. Did you know? Did you know? When Dorothy meets... Uh, I, I think it was the lion in the forest. She meets the lion in the forest, but then they're like skipping down the yellow brick road. And if you look in the distance, there's a midget that hangs himself in the background. Ali, what's up, bro? Katie G, 610. So there's a midget that hangs himself in the background of the Wizard of Oz movie. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. I kind of I kind of want it to look like, you know, horns that come out of my head. <laughs> so, when Dorothy goes to Oz, is that a real place? Did she really get swept up by a tornado and then get taken to Oz? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the midget hanging himself is everyone's favorite part. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself because I'm laughing so hard. My fucking heart's beating. Calm down. Calm down. That's another reason not to eat processed meat. Because it gives you heart attacks and it's killing people. And that's why... Hey, there's poison in the food now. There's poison in the meat. This, is, this isn't the kind of stuff that Graham and Grandpa were eating growing up. Now there is poison in the meat. And there, there's an agenda. Uh, agendas. The Wizard of Oz. I don't believe that Dorothy was really swept up by a tornado. I believe she went into her own mind. Into her pe pineal, into her pineal gland. Yeah, she had a concussion. There, there was a tornado. Maybe like a piece of wood smacked her in the head or something. Something knocked her out and she went into her own mind. And then in her own mind, shit was popping off. Like she landed on, on that witch, and then she, she killed the witch in the beginning. But that was only one bad witch. <laughs> that, that wicked witch of the south was plaguing that midget town. But then the wicked witch of the west showed up. Then why are we living longer than our grandparents? Because this is the age of information. We, um... We know things that grandma and grandpa didn't know. And grandma and grandpa were stupid. Well, maybe, maybe your grandma and grandpa are really smart, but my grandparents are failures. And I don't know. Are we really living longer? Because my, my grandma is 95 now. 95 years old. Holy moly. You ever see people when they get 95, they just like... They're, they're just like this, just like crumbled, crumbled up. Some of them are smart. I, I love meeting old people who are intelligent, but then old people that are stupid, that have no knowledge, that were failures their whole life and had no goal, 
those old people drive me crazy. Like the old people that go to a church called Maranatha. What's Esther doing? Aeoli Holt. Who who is that? Who is that? How do you know Esther? Bring her on. I know I should. Bring it on! You know, I actually saw that movie when it came to the shows. And then, like, my friend is like, yeah, let's go see Bring It On. And I was like, hey, isn't that like a chick flick? I don't want to look like I'm gay or anything going to see a show with my boy. We're both going to see Bring It On. He's like, girls jumping around, cheerleaders. Cheerleaders, they're wearing not, they're they're showing their bodies. We gotta we gotta see Bring It On, and then he talked me into it, and sure enough, that was a badass movie. So I recommend the movie Bring It On. The no, really, don't don't watch the movie Bring It On. Turn your TV off. Actually, just throw their throw your TV out the window and smash it to oblivion because it's programming your mind for failure, and we want success in life. So just program your mind. With Earl Nightingale and the girl, and then Earl Nightingale will be like, "The strangest secret is that men do not think; they do not use their brain, and they do not have a goal." Earl Nightingale, he's like, nineteen out of twenty people. When you ask them why they go to work, they say, "Well, that's what everyone else does," and the and everyone else is unsuccessful. So why we? following the herd, a bunch of unsuccessful people. So program your mind with Earl Nightingale. That's some advice that I got. Derek Flugner, my man. You know how much this water costs? I hate paying for water. This is my God-given right. Did you know that animals in the wild, animals in the wild, they don't pay for food? water, or shelter. Human beings, they, they, they pay for food, water, and shelter. Hey, the animals are smarter. The animals are, the, the animals are, are, are like, water's free. Food is free. Shelter's free. So what are we doing? Dorothy went into her own mind, and when she went into her own mind, she killed a negative aspect right away that, that was there. But then there was still the Wicked Witch of the West. Where's the cake? Uh, I got I got some cake in the in the refrigerator. You know what? I I actually did throw some cookies away. If you look at my page, I threw some cookies away about like two hours ago, and it was a, it was a cool video because the way I threw them, it, I I used like the refrigerator a, as a backboard, so the cookies ricocheted off the backboard and then flew into the garbage. You got to check out the video. It's epic. Epic. And then when I'm on my deathbed and I'm an old ass man, I'm going to look at that cookie video and it's going to have a billion views on it. I'm going to be, Ugh, I did my part. Ugh, uh. And then guess what? I'm going to go to the Wizard of Oz in my own mind. So then when Dorothy went there, shit was popping off. It wasn't like smooth. It wasn't just paradise and she's in heaven. Like the Wicked Witch was driving, flying around in that broom. There was monkeys those monkeys with the pink butts coming out, they were wearing like little suits and flying around. <laughs> Man, The Wizard of Oz is such a great movie. Hold up, hold up. Tilly Court, this is Brian. Hey, what's going on? Uh, that, that is going to be Cheryl. Cheryl. Dude, yeah, dude, I know exactly what you're talking about. Oz? Yeah, I've heard of, I've, I've, I've been to Oz, and I've also been to Wonderland, and I've also been to Never Everland. And I would say that what I did was... Wake up, wake up. I actually, I don't really talk about this much, but what I, actually time? Merged what them. Time? I actually merged them all into this reality. Uh, every single possible, every, every single possible uh, fictional... Fictional, fictional, guys. Fuck, fuck. Fiction is not. It's not fiction. It's, okay, I got okay, you. I got it's, you. It's channeled, it's channeled higher information. Like your crown chakra is like on. I got you. Now. It's, I got being, you now. it's being implanted by by 
higher dimensional beings just throw and the higher dimensional beings is just a metaphor yeah, I, got you. yeah I got you. and so these ideas yeah, are just yeah, going that's that's you. That's like you don't know how to do it but the only way you know imagination because it needs to be expressed okay well yeah, have a good night well, yeah, because expression leads to connection so all right all right to connect with ourselves and experience ourselves okay okay cool. thank you and yeah alice in wonderland I love that. They they always say and look at the characters. They're all you, when you were a kid, you saw the movie. And you're like, oh, all these people are crazy. But like, what were they saying? What were they saying that made them seem crazy? They were saying, all is the mind. They're are saying, we still talking about, about the Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Now we're talking about Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but they're both great. They're both great. They're both channeled, channeled information. I mean, there's the only way, the only way to say it, you know, without people thinking there's, there's two ways to do it, to go, and then, and then you end up in the mental hospital or you can just, instead of saying that's all actually happening, you, you, uh, channel it into the form of some sort of medium of expression and then we have then we just have then but but that's what's really wild is what ends up happening whenever that function occurs is an opening up of an alternate dimension and you are opening up an alternate dimension and making a window into that dimension like literal alternate dimension possible possible existence and this isn't just with stories well, it is just with stories because everything is just stories. Yeah. So, yeah. like, so I, 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 that, like, if I talk about the world of eyes, then I can, then I can, I can come to the right. And then people and then will fall into the world of mental health. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, I mean, I'm not know what you mean by that necessarily, but <laughs> I, I would say that, you know, Dorothy, Dorothy, she put on the shoes and it's like her heart. It was like, wasn't it, wasn't about the heart. Weren't all the characters, no, weren't, weren't all the characters just, uh, like versions of her? Like, she woke, she up. woke up. No, and all, it, no, and all it, the characters, well, I don't like that. I don't like the part when she, when she wakes up. I mean, I do like that part, but that's the end of everything. At the end of every story, you just take off your VR headset and then you're in a new virtual reality. That's what happens always. But what I'm saying is the characters, it, like the lion, the tin man, da da da, they were like, what were they? They were the parts, of, they were the aspects of her personality, like her mind, body, and soul. The courage was the body, and then the mind was the tin man. Oh no, the lion was the body, and then the, 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 the scarecrow was the soul. No, no, no. The Tin Man was the soul. The scarecrow was the soul. Hey, hey, hey. Here's mine. Here's mine. Here's mine. And when do it. He needs to talk. Hey, 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 hey. Eat some oil. Eat some oil. I don't get it. I just want to stand up. I see, I see. Well, so where would you want to go if you could go anywhere? I want to go to Costa Rica. I want to go to Costa Rica. Oh, it seems like you're here. Why am I here? Like, Why am I here? It seems like you're there. It seems like, it seems like that's what, uh, you know, your mission was to do, which would be right here, right now, where we are. But then eventually, but then I, eventually keep I keep moving on. I want to make it out of Babylon. Babylon. Slavery. Slavery. Um, dude, I don't believe you. Why am I? Why am I? Why? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Where are you? Where man? are you, man? How did you get away with that? Wait, how do I get away with what? Welcome, come on. Welcome, come on. Oh, how do I, oh, how do I get away with? How do I? How do I get away with not going to work? 
Are you just saying Are you just no? Saying no? Am I just? I am I just what? Doing an outward. Do an outward. Not for the support. Uh, yeah, basically, but also we don't really need much to exist. Like we don't really need. We don't really need much. We don't need what? We don't need what? We don't need much of anything. I'm doing a live video. Like I was well, hey, you want me, Ed Boy? Animals, Animals in the water. In the wa they don't. They don't. Put you through the water. Put the water with so why do so we need? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> Peace. Peace. He's an actual. What are you? Are you? Again? What are you again? He's an actual like something. What are you saying? Like, uh, yeah. like some certain mythological creature. Like you said, you were. You said you were one. Yeah, you said you were a certain mythological creature that that you well, you're incarnated. You incarnated. You're an incarnation of that energy. What? Yeah. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, tell him my hypothesis is on God. Oh yeah. Uh, you can tell him if you want. So like, so like. Bro, uh, hold on. Oh yeah. I'm James. All right, nice to meet you. All right. So, I gave him this hypothesis earlier. Okay, have you ever seen the show Naruto? What show? Oh, what show? Naruto. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so based on that mythology, a long time ago there was a tailed beast called the Ten Tails, and it was too powerful to be on the world. So God Himself came down and split the Ten Tails into nine different tails. What if our God was once too powerful and got changed into nine or a bunch of different gods, and that became the religion we perceive today, like Christian, Muslim, Buddhism, Jewish, Hinduism? Like, what if it was once one God, or even if it is today, what if it is? Wouldn't that, that be awesome? It's all us. It's all us. Like, that like energy... That energy that is in you, that, is in that, is, you. that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So like when I'm talking about God, I'm really talking about myself and I'm talking about you. So all the religions, they are correlated. I, I, I do see parallels between them all, like the law of attraction. Every religion is teaching. bring in your the reality. There are many people that are breathitarians. Well, I, I like eating food. I like the way food tastes, and it would suck not to eat anything and just breathe. I, I do believe that people can... I, I saw a video where this guy's like, I haven't drank water in six months, but I usually... Every six months, I like taking... A sip of water and the guy takes it and he's like oh mm, tastes so i, I want to eat something i want to eat something good let's eat drink and be merry but let's not eat corpse right like my parents taught me to be a cannibal Let, let's just not do that let's put things in our body that taste good like i i don't i don't want to be a breathitarian I would be happy if I just ate oranges all day. Oranges and tangerines and um, or I, I swear oranges are like the best fruit. They're they're sweet. I went to Whole Foods yesterday. Whole Foods is horrible now. It's owned by Amazon. They have like no organic food. They just got organic apples. I couldn't even get in any fruit. And I, I'm telling my mom like I can't even live here. If I go to, to the store and there's no food, that means that we can't live in this environment. I need, to, I need to go. I need to get out of here and start growing my own food. Whole Foods doesn't have organic produce anymore. Welcome. Come on in. So 
The Wizard of Oz. This is pretty much like what the movie was about. Dorothy got hit with, with something in her head. She went into her own mind. And then all this, she was living in her mind. But then when she went into this other realm, shit was still popping off. And then at the end, she resolved everything and she realized that the power was in her all along. And that's what this is. This is I'm talking into a phone and I'm being broadcasted over the internet and people all over the world are listening to me. Well, look, I, I look like John Piper. Ah, people all over the world are listening to the message of the truth. Yeah, I will destroy your religion, John Piper. You're going down. I'm Jory Richard. I love myself. Epic Dan, Strange God, This Isn't Richard, Rum Chicken, The Scalping, Soul, Quick 3D, Aoli Holt, 89, James White, James White, mm, no. I, I, I love that name, I love myself, Cold Areolas, 69, <laughs> I love flying monkeys. Katie 610. Katie G. And then AT Salt popped in. My, my boy Triple Four, 420. Hi, right, family. Peace.